What is going on guys? I am Jehovah and I cannot wait any longer. I've been trying to sit on these damn, these damn packs and not open them. Uh, but they were, they, they popped up as available for purchase today. I've had this game for like a week, but um, you can only purchase them with the gear points and not real money. Today they popped up for purchase with real money. I went ahead and picked up a little bit more. And we have, looks like, 10 Elite Packs, 24 Operations, 7 Horde, and 7 Versus Boosters. And then we have the some Vintage Packs. Uh, I want to open those here for you guys today. I haven't opened any of these yet. I'm fucking pumped about it. I can't wait. Hopefully we get some of the really cool legendary stuff. Real quick though, I'm going to show you guys what I already have. Uh, I think I might make a separate video showcasing all of the characters. Um, because there's a lot and they're really cool. But yeah, here, real quick, let's go over what I have. I have all the Rockstar uh, skins here from redeeming the cans. And these are pretty cool. So once you enter four cans, you have all four of the skins. And then the only thing you get after that is uh, bonus XP uh, bounties, which is still cool. So, but the, there they are. And they're looking pretty good. I like this one the best because the skull is just like right past the hand. And I don't know, I thought it looked pretty good. So there's that. And then the emblems, I have also the four Rockstar emblems, obviously, which I think they look pretty sick as well. And I am using uh, the God Machine Valkyrie for that. And then the first wave in Gears of War 4 come with the game. So, that is that. Now, like I said, this is the first time that I've done this, so we are going to take our time. I'm going to enjoy this, and I'm sorry if that's a slow pace for you, but uh, watch it in two times speed on YouTube. That's a thing, if, if you have to, I guess. Whatever. But And there's a good chance that if we get anything good, that I'll go into game and check it out. But let's go through these uh, vintage cases first. Let's see. They, they're pretty loud. Oh, my Lanta. Okay. Wait. Oh, I have to... Oh, okay, so there's bounties as well. I didn't know. I thought these were just going to be a playable character. So you get a win as a vintage Oscar, and you get 5,000 XP. That's actually huge. That's a shitload of XP for just playing as a certain character in a versus match. I'm going to go ahead and reveal all here. All right. We got vintage boom shot, baby. Vintage boom shot and vintage re retro lancer. Very cool. I don't know if those are guaranteed cards in these packs or not. Uh, not big on the emblem, but very cool. We got a couple weapon skins, so that is very nice. Let's go ahead and do Dell, and I'll just go ahead and reveal all. There's a go. Reveal all. Oh. Alright, not big on the emblem again, but then again, another 5,000 XP card. Like I said, those are huge. Uh, vintage Boltok and the Vintage Longshot. Very cool. The Vintage skins are not bad. So let's go ahead and get us some Vintage JD. And then we're going to get into the good stuff. Come on. Uh-oh. And reveal all. The JDF emblem, not bad, another 5,000 XP. And the Vintage Drop Shot and Vintage Nash are very cool. Now we're gonna do uh, the Vintage Kate. Open. A little bit odd, you have to open it. You have to open it and then you have to reveal the cards, which I actually kinda like. Oh, it looks like... Okay, cool, so you can go through and reveal whichever card you want. And the emblem. Not very big on that emblem yet again, but like I said, I think those 5,000 XP cards are worth it alone. I will definitely play through each one of those characters just to get the 5,000 XP per character. That's pretty insane. Alright, so if you don't know how these work, 
basically uh, in a versus booster, as you can see, accelerate your progression with five consumable versus bounty cards. So basically, it'll be like win a team deathmatch and get 2500 XP at the end of the match or whatever. Uh, so in this pack, all there are are those versus boosters. So you're only going to get the little XP boosters that you can get in versus mode. Horde, very similar, but you're only going to get cards that boost your XP in Horde, right? And wait, with this pack of Horde skills and consumable Horde bounty. Okay, so that's actually bounties and the skill cards. So you can have things like, say if you're playing sniper class and you get a headshot on an enemy, their head will actually explode and do damage to enemies around them. So that's what a Horde booster is. You're only going to get Horde cards. The Operations is a mixture of the Horde booster cards and the Versus booster cards, but then you are also going to get, you get at least one guaranteed customization card, emblem, weapon, or character. All right, and then, so we have 24 of those. So those are kind of like the ones that you open. They're a little bit cheaper and you hope you get lucky on the customization card. Whoops, I accidentally tabbed over. Come on, get back to my unopened packs. And then the Elite Packs, uh, which we only have 10 of. These are the expensive big daddies, but these are all, all customization cards. So you get five random customization cards and includes one guaranteed rare or better item with a greater chance of a legendary. So obviously, let's go with like the Horde first, then we'll do the Versus, then we'll go to Operations, then we'll go to Elites, okay? Let's do this, baby. We got a whole lot of packs to open. This is going to be a long video. I hope you guys brought a drink and a snack. Let's go ahead and reveal all. Alright, nothing really rare. So, Soldier Survival, 200 credits. Okay, and so this is another thing that I noticed, is that not only can you get XP bounties, but you can also get credit bounties, which are pretty cool because the credits are what you use to purchase the packs in game. So 200 credits is a pretty decent amount, but beat wave one through 50 as soldier. Uh, so yeah, that's quite a bit of credits, but you have to go all the way to level 50 as the soldier class. And then you just have some basic skills uh, cards, which we're not gonna read everyone, otherwise we will be here forever. So, right into another horde booster. Opening pack, and this is a little bit they take a little while right now. I don't know if, you know, an update will make these go a little bit faster or what. But yeah, let's reveal all. All commons. Unfor I, wait, aren't I think the greens are common, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, weapon locker cost, decoy cost, fortifications 2, build 50 fortification. Holy shit, 20,000 XP. Holy shit. 50 fortifications. 20,000 XP. That's insane. That is a lot of XP, so that is very cool. We'll go ahead and go to the next pack here. I plan on playing lots of Horde with my friends. I can't guarantee anything, but Speedy and I have also talked about doing some Horde, hopefully for videos, so we'll see. Grenade damage. Your grenades are more effective. Hell yeah. Grenade plants. You can plant more grenades. Very cool. Deposit bonus, 5,000 XP for getting 100 kills with explosive damage. So that's pretty good, like that's a pretty easy one and you don't even have to get to a certain amount of waves. So you could spawn in as, what is it? I think heavy spawns with a boom shot and just get an easy 5,000 XP, so that's really cool. Go right into our next pack. Open all, reveal all. Hardcore survival, ooh, 400 credits, but you have to beat waves 1 through 50 on hardcore. Team revive, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good skill right there. All right, next pack. Ooh, we got a rare. Hey, mortar strike. All right, so I haven't messed with that yet, but... I'm assuming it's pretty self-explanatory. You're going to get a mortar strike to call in whenever shit gets heavy and take out a bunch of motherfuckers. Maybe save that for a boss wave, which would be pretty cool. And then we got a nice XP bounty. Beat waves 1 through 20 on any difficulty. See, that's not bad. You can play that shit on normal and get 10k XP. Very cool. Two more. Two more hordes. 
explosive launch damage. Uh, what do we got? Beat waves 1 through 20 as engineer, 10,000 XP. Not bad. Very cool. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. Reveal all! Beat waves 1 through 50 as a heavy, 200 credits. Very cool. I've seen a few of these health boosts. And so the way that this works, I believe, is the more health boost cards like this that I get that are the exact same card, you can actually level that card up. And so say that the base boost on this card gives you a 10% increase in health. Once you level this card up by having two cards and combining them, then you get a 20% increase in health. So th those numbers are just, uh, you know, for example. But that's how it works so that is very cool okay so we opened all of our horde boosters now we're gonna get into our versus boosters seven of these bad boys I'm a little more excited about it. like I'm excited about horde don't get me wrong but I'm really excited to play a bunch of verses and rank up as quick as possible so let's get into these let's see what we get Thousand score and King of the Hill, thousand score and Escalation, six knife executions. Wow. So that doesn't even say in one game, though. I wonder if you could just put that on, play multiple games. Once you've gotten the executions, then you get it. Or if you have to do that in one game, I'm not sure. 1500 score in Warzone and 1500 score in Arms Race. Uh, excuse me. Not bad, not bad. We're getting these cards. Boy, we're going to have so many cards. We're going to be ranking up. 1500 score in Escalation, 5 headshots, not bad, 1000 score in Versus, so any Versus, 2000 XP, 10 assists, easy, just, just lancer people in the legs and then don't go for kills, and they get 1000 score in Team Deathmatch, 2k XP, very good, very good, yes! Uh oh, 25 credits for winning a dodgeball match, not bad, 3 knife executions, 1000 XP, 1000 score, uh, six knife executes. So we got two of those now, and that's another thing you can get multiple cards and just keep doing them after you've completed the first one if you want. If you're good at whatever it is, so say you're good at getting six knife executions, you can just be racking up XP if you get multiple cards. And a thousand score and King of the Hill, very good. I'm excited to get to these. Ooh, to these other ones though. Not gonna lie. Let's see, what we get 1500 score arms race, ten headshots. 1,000 score in Team Deathmatch, 1,000 score in Team Deathmatch again, and 6 knife X. God damn, we're getting a lot of the knife execution cards. Reveal! 1,000 score in TDM, 1,000 score in Escalation, 10 kills, very, that's a good card. I, li I like the easy ones, you just throw on and like, pretty sure you'll get it no matter what. 5 assists, 500, not as much, but 1,000 score in Dodgeball, 2,000 XP, alright. We got two more of these bad boys left. Then we're gonna get to the custom, uh, the customization cards, which are gonna be the real exciting ones. Thousand score in dodgeball, fifteen hundred score in guardian, thousand score in dodgeball, thousand score in dodgeball. Jesus, three of those cards in this, and fifteen hundred score in king of the hill. Next pack, our last versus booster pack. Here we go, boys. Fifteen hundred in dodgeball, thousand in guardian, thousand in TDM, ten headshots, and fifteen hundred in TDM. Very cool. All right, so we've got all kinds of cards to help us rank up and get the XPs. Now we're gonna go into the operations packs. Like I said, this is a mixture of both the versus and the horde cards, and then you get at least one guaranteed uh, customization card, which can be either an emblem, a character, or a weapon skin. So. Alright, so we got a uh, crappy emblem, beat waves 1 through 50, 200 credits. 10 executions for 2000 XP isn't bad. Alright, next pack. Come on, baby. Give us the goods. Oh, the Japan emblem, that's kind of cool. Another six knife executions. Headshots do. Alright, very, very sorry, guys. I just realized that my recording software that I was using froze and decided to crash like a piece of shit so like the last three or four packs you guys didn't see uh da, 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 da. okay wait let's go ahead and reveal these and i'll go back and show you guys what you missed very cool nothing very good here all right so we actually 
We actually got something good, too. It's not like it was just packs of boringness. We got a weapon skin, and it was a rare. Look at this. I can't believe the first thing I unboxed, my recording software, shout out to XSplit, fucking crashed like a piece of shit. So we got an epic skin, purple motherfucking bubbles out of an operations pack, which is pretty cool because obviously we have a better chance of getting any, getting uh, good stuff out of the elites, but uh, we got this out of the operations. So very cool. And then we got a purple tribal too. I think we, I think you guys missed that as well. I was just opening packs, being happy, and I looked over and I noticed that, uh, luckily I looked over and noticed that the recording software wasn't working anymore. Anyways, we got 18 operations still to go. So let's go ahead and get into these. Let's get us another nice weapon skin. 15 credits is Dell. Ooh, look at that. That emblem's kind of different. Uh, but, 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 2,000 for 1,000 score in King of the Hill. Okay, next pack. Give us those weapon skins, baby. I'm a sucker for weapon skins. Pretty much any weapon skin I'm going to get a little excited about. Alright, XP, XP. We got the Vintage Marksa MK1. This thing is pretty interesting. You could pop heads off with it. It's pretty cool. I think it's got a... It's pretty short clip. It's only got like five rounds or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but... It's a pretty neat new weapon. Shotgun capacity. Three knife... Ex we got a lot of knife execution bounties. Interesting emblem. Fifteen left, boys. And girls. Come on. Ah, we got a snub pistol skin, which I am excited about. Uh, I really want to get a nice snub pistol skin. Don't know how much I like that one. It's a little bit different, so we'll probably throw it on for now, to be honest. But uh, 500 XP for f five kills? Wow, that's... I like that. Very, uh, very reasonable, obviously. Let's get it in. Uh-oh. Oh, Color Blast Dell! These Color Blast dudes are pretty fucking cool. I am a fan. Actually, the Color Blast uh, Swarm look even better, in my opinion. But, very cool. Nonetheless, we got a Color Blast Dell. Very happy with that. Let's keep on keeping on. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. A Scout Skill, but it's a... Wow. But it's an epic card. 10% melee and shotgun damage returned as hell. Oh, shit. So every time I shoot somebody, 10% of the damage is returned to me as health, as scout. That's fucking insane. That's very cool. In fact, uh, I'm talking about playing some horde with my friends this weekend. They're going to come over from high school. And I was going to play scout anyway. So that's very cool that I have that. I like it. Five headshots for 1,000 XP. And a Marcus victory for 20 credits. Not bad. Oh, and then there was a snub. I didn't even look at the snub skin. I looked right over it. Aw, first we had two epics in a row and then not that one. But that's okay. Another health boost. Dude, we have so many health boosts. And those are all scout cards. So I'm going to be able to, like, upgrade. I'm pretty sure I got some of these earlier. So I'm going to be able to, like, stack these and uh, have, like, a ridiculous health boost. That'll help me out a lot. Beatways 1 through 10 on Insane. Oh my god, Insane though. 10,000 XP though. Beatways 1 through 20 as Engineer 10k XP. Very nice. And then an Assist Bounty. Assist Bounty. They're so cute. Don't worry, I'll be using them. Uh-oh. Armored Sam. How you doing, girl? Uh, very cool. So we got Armored Sam. We got uh, Purple Bubbles. And what was that uh, Color Blast Dell so far out of these operations? Not bad at all. Very cool. Another scout skill. Pick up power from further away. All right. I like it. Yes. Yeah, 100 enemies with... Okay, so that one's going to take a while. All right. Here we go. 10 packs. And then we're going to get on to those elite packs. I know you guys want to see those. Hey, I like the Phoenix Omen emblem, though. Very cool. Hong Kong emblem. All right, all right. Let's keep going. What do we got? XP. We got another. I think that's what we got earlier. It was a cedar snub. And a thousand score, two thousand XP. Keep going. Oh. 
Oh, Tiger Lancer, hey. For one of the less um, rare ones, the Tiger, that Tiger skin is pretty sick. I am a fan of that. Very cool. Like I said, any weapon skins I'm happy with. Explosive launcher damage, very cool. 2000 XP for 1000 score on TDM. We have so many of those. Jungle camo snub, eh, not my favorite. I want to get a nice, a nice snub skin. That's what I really want. Once I get a nice snub skin, I'm just gonna be running around with my pistol like all the time, which may be a bad thing. Oh shit! Zombie Reina! Damn! Damn, that just happened. Out of an operations pack. Oh shit. Oh shit. Alright, we gotta check that out for sure. Zombie fucking Reina out of an operations pack? What? What am I doing? Hold on. Zombie Reina, baby. Holy shit, that is legit. I never play as girl characters in games usually, but I mean, we're gonna have to try that one out for show. Sure. For show, sure, baby. Yes, that is sick. That is awesome. So as you can see, I was talking about scrap earlier. Actually, I think it was when the capture card died, but all these cards that I'm getting that I don't want and duplicates I can break down. So if I were to destroy this Zombie Reina card, as you can see in the lower left there, I would get 600 scrap. And then if I didn't have this Zombie Reina skin and I wanted to craft it, it would be 2400. So as you can see right now, I have zero scrap, but after all these cards, I'll probably uh, cash some of these in. But we're going to go ahead and switch over to Zombie Reina here as my playable character because that's badass very cool with the bubbles oh yeah alright that's awesome so we still have what how many like what we have six or seven left something like that four okay well you know hey it's still a few we got four and then we're gonna get into the elite packs Yellow Heart Snasher, okay. Uh, we, don't, uh, we hardly have any Nasher skins, so any Nasher skins right now are much welcomed and appreciated. What do we got? A Swamp Camo? Bleh! That looks gross. 10% reload speed, 10,000 XP, 1 through 20 is heavy. Alright. What do we got? Bronze wave? Okay, goes with the gold wave, kinda. Like, uh, alright, not bad. Nice little long shot camo. I think the only other one I have right now is jungle. So, uh, very cool. Alright, one pack remaining out of the operations, then we're getting to those big bad boy elites. Oh, we got the teacup lancer. Very nice. I was hoping to get a teacup boltock out of the physical gear packs. Uh, if you didn't see those earlier on my channel, I didn't get them, but now we got the Teacup Lancer. So very cool. I probably won't use that over Bubbles, though. So, alright. Now, the finale. We have ten. Ten motherfucking Elite Packs. Now, some of these came with my game. Some of them I bought. I don't know, but... Oh my god, here we go. Now, let's reveal these a little bit slower. One at a time, maybe. Onyx Wave. Okay, cool. Swamp Camo. Yuck. Uh, Bullshock. Uh-oh. Uh Wait, does that mean that that's guaranteed? Oh, shit. Okay, so I think that what it guarantees in these elites is that you get at least an epic. At least an epic, right? But this is a legendary, you can already see from hovering over it. So out of our first pack of 10, we've already gotten a legendary. Let's see what it is, baby! Oh! The Day of the Deads are the sickest ones, man. So with like the Boltox and the Boom Shots and shit, there's only, some of them only have like four or five skins anyways. We've got the Day of the Dead Torque Bow 
And out of the, yeah, so out of the, like, Torque Bow and Boom skins right now, the Day of the Dead look the best, in my opinion. So I couldn't be happier with that. Day of the Dead Torque Bow. Holy shit. Oh, I want to check that out. We're going to go ahead and look at our, we're going to go ahead and open our other packs, but we will look at our skins, some of them, afterwards. That's sick. First pack got a Legendary. Let's see what's in the next one. All right. Open up, bitch. Open! Oh no, what if, let's see, what if the servers just like go down? Let's see what we got here? Yuck. Yuck. Yuck! Okay, hey, I like pur purple tiger snub. That's not bad, it's a little flashy. I'll, I'll probably use that as my snub for now. What do we got here? Okay, we didn't get a legendary, but we did get an epic, obviously. Ooh, the swarm pod snub. Okay, I like that. Probably use that over the purple, ti purple tiger. I was gonna use you, purple tiger, and then now I see the swarm pod, and probably not now, but okay. Very cool, eight remaining. All right. What'd we get? Purple Tribal, eh, not bad. Okay, Hot Pink Trooper long shot. I like that, it's flashy. Belgium Emblem, not very interested in that. Trooper Lancer does not look bad. And we got an Epic. Another per, really? That's what we got before in the operations pack. So now we have two purple bubble lancers. We'll have to obviously scrap one of these. Ah, uh, that kind of sucks. It sucks to see a duplicate already, but that the, the chances of that are pretty low. Like there's a lot of epic cards and a lot of different weapons, and I've already pulled two purple bubble lancers. Unless I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure the one I got earlier was a purple. But there's like similar colors. There's pink bubbles and purple bubbles. I don't know. Anyways, let's go to the next one here. Regardless, we'll get some scrap out of it. All right. Oh shit. So we're going to get two epics in this one at least. Hold on. Let's just let's peek. Oh no. Okay. I thought that the order was like the epic always had to be the second or the last, second to last or the last. Okay. So the order is random. Bloody mess. I like that emblem. And a gear saw. Eh. Trooper long shot, not bad. Zebra, ooh. What'd we get, baby? Oh, yes. The Swarm Drone Spectre. I was showing this to my friend, and I was like, dude, look how like crazy these albino swarm characters are. They look so sick. They're so bright. So I don't know, you know, I'll play with it in multiplayer, but if it makes me, obviously it's going to make me stand out like a sore thumb, and I'm already kind of bad, but very cool. Happy with that. Happy with that. All right. Now what do we got? Come on. All right. Another purple tiger snub. Yuck. Pink heart emblem. Hey, I like that. Eh, that one's different. Wait, what? Aren't we supposed to be guaranteed an e uh, epic? What? I'm confused. Includes guaranteed rare or ba oh rare. So wait, what is rare? What what is? Hold on, we gotta look real quick. Is the light blue rare? Let's see here. Yeah, wow. So we've actually just gotten really lucky and gotten epics in every pack. You're only guaranteed a rare or higher. Wow, interesting. So we could have been getting screwed this whole time. We've gotten an epic out of every pack until that one. Includes one guaranteed rare or better item with a greater chance of a legendary. Huh, okay, five left. That's the first one that we haven't gotten an epic, so we can't be too upset. Unless they all start going no epic. Oh, well, there we go, okay. Let's see here. Oh shit, we got a double epic pack, boys. It's making up for that last one. Hey, Blue Trooper, not bad. 
All natural. All right, which one? Left or right? Let's see what we got, baby. Outsider JD. Very nice. I like those in like they're just like civilian clothing. Very cool. What else do we get? Oh my god, another duplicate. We already have the swarm pod snub now. Fuck. Two duplicates on epics or er, yeah, epics already. We got two purple two purple bubbles on the lancer skins. And now we got two swarm pod. Man, shit, dude. That's all right. That's all right. We'll break it down. We'll have some scrap. We'll have some money to go towards some shit. Ooh, the rainbow nasher, baby. I like it. That's just a rare, but okay. We got an epic as well. Very good. Outsider's emblem. We got a shitload of outsider emblem. Pink tiger snub. Let's see what we get. Zombie enforcer. Very cool. All the zombie skins are very nice. I enjoy them a lot. The enforcer is fun to play with. I will be hip spraying motherfuckers like a noob. I don't even care. So that'll be fun. And the Rainbow Nasher, that'll be my go-to Nasher for now at least. Why do I keep backing out? Alright, here we go. Three left. Let's see what we get. We get a rare first. Orange Hearts, not bad. I like it. Another rare. Pink Heart Snub, I like that. I like that. Pink Heart Snub is actually really good. The Warbird Lancer is sick. Even though it's like default skin... And then, you know, you've got the the mouth or whatever with the teeth, but very cool. Another rare down here. Green tribal. Eh, let's see what our epic is. Yellow bubbles, Nasher, baby. I love the bubbles. I love the bubble skins. They're animated, obviously. Very good. That that pack overall was great. The only one I didn't care for was the green tribal. Why do I keep backing out? Fuck me. Alright. Let's see what we got, baby. Field officer, not bad. We got a rare here. Pink tiger, very good. Jungle gamma. Oh, Roy. No, we didn't get an epic. <coughs> Vintage enforcer, that looks pretty sick. And another purple tiger snub. Next pack. This is our last pack. Oh. Our very last one. Let's hope there's something good. Can we get a legendary in our last pack? Yuck. Alright, so far not good. Urban. Oh, I didn't, that's pretty cool. There's like buildings on it. Oh, yes! Fuck yes, dude. We got a legendary in our last pack. Hong Kong, we already have one of those. Oh, how perfect. Our last pack. Let's see what it is. Oh shit! We got the Trippy Lancer! Dude, the Trippy Lancer is so over the top. I, wow. I figured that would be one of them that I would be building up towards. The Trippy Lancer is fucking sick. I'm pretty sure when I made my video showing off all the skins, I talked about how much I wanted the Trippy. Oh my god. That just happened. Unfortunately now we are out of we are out of packs. But we did pretty fucking good here. We did pretty fucking good. Let's check out our lancers. We got all the orange hearts, pink tiger. We got the purple bubbles, but we got two of these so we're going to be able to scrap one. So let's just go ahead and scrap one of these. How do you do that? Scrap no, that just selected it as my character. Or as my default. Whatever. Scrap. How do I scrap it? Craft. Show all clothes. Destroy. I want to destroy you. Options? No. Huh. I don't know how to do that. I'm probably overlooking it. Crap. There we go. Okay, so you have to hit X for craft, and then it brings up the craft menu. Destroy single, destroy duplicates. So we don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and just destroy one. I mean, yeah, there's nothing else to do with it. 150 scrap isn't the best, but... So that's what scrapping shit looks like. So as you can see, we still have one, and now we have 150 scrap balance down there. Very cool. 
Oh my god, though. The trippy... The trip... Ah. Oh. The trippy Lancer. With zombie Reyna. I'm gonna look like a fucking boss. First day. So excited about that. Alright, let's look at our Nashers. We got... The yellow bubbles. Oh man, this is gonna be hard though. Yellow bubbles or rainbow. The rainbow is pretty sick, but it's not animated. The vintage Nasher is looking pretty fucking good too, not gonna lie. But let's go ahead and put bubbles. I, I like to be flashy. If my skill's not there, I might as well be flashy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we'll go ahead and throw on. What do you think? Vintage? Vintage Snub or Swarm Pod? Oh, Swarm Pod's animated. Okay. I didn't realize that. Let's go with Swarm Pod. I'm liking that. Uh, we got some Enforcer skins. So as you can see, like I said, there's not very many of some of these as of now. I'm sure they'll, uh, you know, release more. But the Day of the Dead is usually the coolest on these special weapons. We'll go ahead and throw the Zombie Enforcer on. I like that. Uh, and that was pretty much it. Oh, we got the Torque Bow, right? Yeah. So yeah, so this is the Torque Bow. There's just not much. The Day of the Dead is the fucking best, in my opinion. So we're gonna throw that on. And then obviously, our characters. We got the Zombie Reyna. Very, very cool. Oh, we also got a Color Blast. Yeah, we got a Color Blast Dell. Which, the Color Blast looks pretty fucking crazy. Wow, that, oh man, that was fun. Alright guys, well, I hope you enjoyed me opening some packs. If you want to see more, let me know with some love on this video and a comment down below. Thanks for watching guys, and stay tuned for more Years of War 4 content.